Hi everybody, welcome back. You know what I found while I was out thrifting this week? Well, no you don't, because you haven't watched the video yet. But one of the things I found was this acute, 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 take 20. Hi everybody, welcome back. You know what I found while out thrifting this week? Well, no you don't, because you haven't seen the video yet. But one of the things I found was this cute little Furby. But I'll tell you more about him when we get inside. I also found nine or ten other items that I'm dying to show you. So just sit back and enjoy, because we're about to begin. Good morning, guys. It's almost time to start our thrifting adventure. But first, I have to give you today's trivia question. You know, at the beginning of this video, I showed you that Furby that I bought. Well, I thought that would make a nice question for today. In what year was Furby first introduced? And what company introduced them? Well, take a guess and see how close you get. But I'm not going to give you the answer to the end of this video. But for now, let's get thrifting. When I got to this store, I decided to start my search over in their toy section. And right away I saw this little Furby. Now this isn't one of the older Furbies, it's a remake, but they go for about $20 and Goodwill was only asking four for it, so I wanted it. Very close to the Furby, I saw this Shimmer and Shine Magic Carpet. It's a cute little toy, it runs around the room and it looks like they're flying in their carpet. They were asking $5 for it, but they go for about $25 online. Over on this aisle, I saw this Baby's First Christmas ornament. They were asking $3 for it, but they were only going for $10 online, so I had to leave it there. I continued walking down the aisle, where I saw one of my favorite things to find, these painted ponies. I tell you guys about these all the time. They go for about 40 to $50, and in this case, this one was only selling for 6 so this went in the cart. When I came over to this row, I knew pretty fast that there was going to be nothing on it for me, so I just decided to leave here and go to another row. As I was walking around the store looking for something to buy, I noticed these four boxes. Well, they were Christmas bells. They were made by Goebel. They put one out a year. You're supposed to collect the whole series. But the good news was, they were only asking $2 a piece for these. So at that price, I had to take them. So all four of these went in my cart. This was a nice purchase. Goebel's usually sell pretty well for me. So when I saw this set of four bells, I had to take a chance with them. They were only $2 a piece. Well, I brought them home, put them on eBay, and they sold the first night for $34.95 plus $7.95 shipping. So I was thrilled. Okay, now back to the video. Well, that was all for this store. I think we did pretty well here. Okay, I'll meet you guys out in the car. See you there. Okay, guys, it's time to head to the next store of the day. And you know what's going to happen on the way? Well, I'll tell you. Subscribers to my channel are going to sit up here in the front seat where they're allowed to be. And they're going to have a great time. Non-subscribers to my channel who have to sit back there because they're non-subscribers. There's no other option. They're not going to have a good time back there. They never do. And you know, I've heard rumors that a black hole is forming back there. Yeah, a black hole. Now, those non-subscribers could get sucked up in it and never be heard from again. That's pretty <laughs> scary. I don't want that to happen to me. So, if you're a non-subscriber and you want to stay on Earth, or at least in this dimension, click that subscribe button. You'll be transported right up here to the front seat and join in on the fun. Okay, it's up to you. But for now, we got to get heading to that next door. I started my search on this row because I saw that football mini helmet. Now this is another item that I look for all the time. They're usually cheap. So I see this one's only $2. 
to go for like 15 and up online, you got to get them. They're fast sellers too. If you guys have watched my videos for any length of time, you know that whenever I see one of these mini helmets, I pick it up. You can usually get them pretty cheap. They go for between two and three dollars and they sell for between 15 and 20. Well, this one sold last night for $15.95 plus $4.95 shipping. So I was pretty happy. Very consistent, these helmets. If you see them out there, at least check out their prices. Okay, now back to the video. This store had put out a shelf of Christmas stuff, but when I checked out some of the prices, I'm telling you, they were asking way too much. Then I saw this sun catcher. It was Santa riding a reindeer. This was priced okay. It was only $3, and I figure I could get 15 for it easy. This end cap was also filled with Christmas stuff. But again, they had priced it so high, there was nothing I could buy here. It was really silly. I guess they got a new manager trying to make points with the boss. I walked on over to this aisle because I saw that Coca-Cola lamp. It was really cool looking. I wasn't too happy that the shade was made of plastic, but the base was metal and they were only asking $5 for it. I figure I can get 40 easy, so it went in my cart. Next, I saw these two boys playing baseball. It was a really well-made figure, had a nice glaze on it. It was made by Paul Sebastian. Now, there was no price on it, but I ended up getting it for $3. And I sell Paul Sebastian stuff, so I had to take this. I moseyed on over to their plus section, and I saw this Squishmallow. He was really cute. There was no tag on it and no price, but I know what Squishmallows are by now. When I got up to the counter, the girl said, I'll sell it to you for a dollar. I said, it's mine. Well, it's time to leave this store, but I think we did pretty well. I liked the cute little Squishmallow. It turned out, yeah, he was a Squishmallow, but he wasn't one of the more expensive ones. Okay, I'll meet you guys out in the car. Okay guys, we're going to go to one more store. I wasn't going to, but I decided it's on my way home, so we might as well stop there. It's a Salvation Army. But I got two things to tell you before we go. One is, I've been hearing some screaming back there. I hope none of the non-subscribers have been sucked into that black hole. I really do. And the second thing is, that if you guys see anything that you like in any of my videos, just click the eBay link below. You'll be taken to my store. Have a look around, and maybe you'll find something you're interested in. But for now, let's get going to that next store while I try to figure out what all that screaming's about. It's Saturday, which means it's 25% off day at Salvation Army. As soon as I got here, I walked right over to this box. Turned out it was a remote control boat. They wanted $19.99 for it. Now I had to see if it was all there, but I can't do that with one hand, so I'll be right back. There we go. That's much better. It was in really good condition. It had all the parts. So this was going home with me. They go for about a hundred bucks. When I got to their back wall, I noticed this camouflage Christmas stocking. Yep, a camouflage Christmas stocking. I figured there was someone out there that had to have this. Probably a hunter. It was $3.99. I just hope the hunter wasn't a reindeer hunter. I think I can get 20 for it. I walked over to this mug section because I was curious what new mugs they had put out. But there was nothing for me. I did end up seeing this Tweety Bird plate. It was $3.99 on a 25% off day. And I figured it would sell for between 12 and 15. So I added it to the cart. I continued to search the store until I came across this music box. It was $14.99. White tags are 50% off today, guys. It played 70 songs. It was by Mr. Christmas, and it had an animated and light up insides. This was going home with me if I had to fight my way out of the store. 
Well, it's time to go, guys. But this was the most profitable haul I've had at this Salvation Army in a long, long time. I should make a couple hundred dollars off it. Okay, I'll meet you out in the car. Give you an answer to a trivia question. Well, guys, it's that sad part of the day when I have to say goodbye. But I want to give you the answer to today's trivia question. You know, the first Furby was introduced in 1998. It was introduced by the Tiger Electronics Company. In the first three years of production, they made over 40 million of them. That's a lot of Furbies. Then Hasbro bought them out and they tried to upgrade them and make them better. But they never caught on like the original ones did. Then in 2018, Hasbro stopped making them. So that's probably the end of Furbies. But you never know. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.